Hello everyone, in this video, you're going to learn how to find absolute fractional in percentage uncertainties. Here's a problem. Calculate the absolute fractional in percentage uncertainties for the following measurements of a mass. We have 1.5 grams, 1.8, and 1.6 grams. Pause this video and try this problem yourself first before you continue watching. Alright. The first thing we need to do is like the previous video is to find the average. So we add other data up and divide by 3 and that will give us all this number right here. The second uh, the second thing we need to do is find a half the range. So we take the max uh, and minus the min divided by 2. So 1.8 is the max and then minus 1.5 is the min and divide by 2 that will give us 0 0.15 grams. So the other thing that you need to do is you need to round the answer to the correct significant figures and precisions. So how should we do that? So we notice that the calculator give us 1.52223 and go on forever grams. And we know that's not uh, quite correct. So we need to round that to 1.5 grams. Because if we look at our measurement, we notice that we only have two significant figures here. So there shouldn't be more than two. So we also look at the uncertainty, which is 0.15 grams. We need to round that up to 0.2 grams. Why? Well, if you look at it, you will notice that the there's only one number after the decimal. So it's only this is how precise it is. Uh, 1.15 is more precise than what the data has given us. So that's one of the reasons why we need to round this up to 0.2 okay so the absolute uncertainty is this value right here 0 0.2 grams but the way we write the mass is we say it's 1.5 plus or minus 0 0.2 grams that's how we write it so what is the next thing that we need to do we need to find fractional uncertainty. So fractional uncertainty is like the name imply. It's a fraction. You take the uncertainty, which is 0 0.2, divided by the mean right here, which is 1.5. So when you do that, you get 0 0.1222 again. And then the calculator gives you a lot of numbers. So you have to really determine how far do you go. So we have one significant figure here divided by two significant figures. So we the maximum we should get is one significant figure as the answer. So I round this down to 0 0.1. The percentage uncertainty, all you need to do is take the value up here, the fractional uncertainty, and multiply by 100. And when you do that, you get 10%. All right. So if you look at your uncertainty, which is one significant figure, and you look at uncertainty up here, it's also one significant figure, then you know that you have done it correctly. And that's pretty much it for this problem. Have a wonderful day.